Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off in Club 41. And we're going to try and figure out how to feed this sponge in this episode as um, Boson Krebs plays a knifey game on the table. It always reminds me of that Simpsons episode with the knifey games. Um, but anyway, I was really silly. Really, really silly. Um, thank you to you guys for pointing it out. We already have what we need. Um, I guess I was just being really dense. Um, the site we've got stands coat, of course. The taste we've now got because of the chili, which we got in the last episode. And it was the smell that we were looking for. We already have it. And I was being really, really silly because when we picked this up from the beast of the jungle, it was called Stinky Lion's Paw which meant it smelt really bad. Um, so we had the sense of smell already. So hopefully, now we've put that on there, um, I'm guessing we can just combine this with this. Yep. Oh, oh, let's go around. Eat the nice smelly anti-pasta. That's a good sponge. I mean, that just looks creepy as hell. And then now I'm guessing we just combine it with this. Good thing the sponge doesn't have a tongue, or I'd be dunking it in Ooh. the ocean right about now. So now what do we do? Hot, stinky, and bad for the eyes is no way to go through life, sponge. Uh, I mean, it looks pretty hideous, doesn't it? Let's be honest. Um, so what do we do? Do we... We've got this card. Like there's two cards missing, but I'm sure there's enough precognitive mojo in these babies to count as a sixth sense course. So we need the sixth sense course... Um, which I'm guessing is that one. Then we've got touch and sound as well. I better fold this up before I put it in my pocket. Uh, so is this the sixth sense then? Is this the brain one? Because I'm guessing that's next. And then we need touch and then we need sound? I better sound? fold this up before I put it in my pocket. Can we put that on? We can! Hopefully these flakes of the Ooh. future will give La Esponja a sixth sense that'll help keep me from getting into situations like this. I so what do we La now? Esponja Grande can sense the future now. And how would it tell anyone if it did? I mean, it just looks bizarre, doesn't it? So we need touch I better next. fold this up before I put it in my pocket. What can we get for touch? Uh, let's try heading out, I guess. Ouch! It's that zapping thing again. What is the deal with that zapping thing? What can we get as a sense of touch? Something that th something that feels funny, I'm guessing. What do we have that feels funny? Like the sugar or something? We've still got the chili. I wonder why that's hanging around. No. Oh, do we have to touch it with the hook? No. The ring. Nope. Have to use the chili again? Surely not. Oh. Hot, stinky, and bad for the eyes is no way to go through life, Sponge. I wonder if La Esponja Grande can sense the future now. And how would it tell anyone if it did? So we need something to touch. I don't know if we can even ask the voodoo lady or something. You again! Hello, Treepwood. Uh, feast for the senses. About this feast for the senses. What would you like to know? Uh, what we can ask is about the napkin. All right, enough about the feast for now. Can we just show her the sponge and see what she says about it? Well, sponge Grande won't work on anyone until it's been fed its feast for the senses. So we need to find a sound. And we also need to find a touch. Looks like a touch, doesn't it? I mean, that is a sense, a sense of touch. I better fold this up before I put it in. What can we do for the... the touch? Maybe a seagull can be the Still sound? Flying fecal flingers. It does make a sound. Well, Sponja Grande won't work on anyone until it's been fed its feast for the sense. Okay, it's not that then. Gotta find something that's 
that feels that feels something. Uh, is there any? No, there's nothing there, is there? Maybe something in the lab. Unless we need feelings rather than touch. Just because it's a play on words, and I'm thinking maybe that's something they would do. Uh, could we use it on that thing? La Sponja Grande is only good for soaking up voodoo. Like the pox. I wonder if we can do anything with this, though. Let's have a look. Uh, what do these buttons do again? Ow! What the... Oh yeah, that one makes us really little, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> I love the rat in the background. So that didn't work. This courtroom drama has made me thirsty. Uh, thirsty? Is that a clue? Uh, what about this one? Does one make Ow. our voice really high or something? I can't even remember. Ah, I'm blind. Ugh. <laughs> oh, could that? Oh no, it's not, we've got sight, haven't we? It's not going to be that. What can be touch? Ow! Whoa! It's not going to be that either. Um, help? I don't understand what the touch can be. Uh, what's this do? Nothing. It's broken, isn't it? I wonder where Morgan went. It's bugging me now. Um, anything we can touch. What makes a sound as well? It looks like DeSinge is using my hand to make something called the Jeu de Vie. Okay. There's like a piano on there. I don't think I've seen a piano anywhere, though. Um, I'm trying to think what what we've seen that could be touch. I, mean, I don't think there's anything else in the jungle, according to what I've been told by you guys. Might maybe the fire? So it's got to be something in town. La Sponja Grande is only good for soaking up voodoo. What about the cat. Uh, Sponja Grande is only good for soaking up voodoo. Like the pots. Okay. Um, I don't think it's anything to the glass place, which leaves us pretty narrow on options. Can't go in the courtroom. Can LeChuck do anything? Uh, Sponja Grande won't work on anyone until it's been fed its feast for the senses. Alright, let's talk to him. The sponge is still small. The sponge is still small. Most unfortunate. No tips. Food lady gave me this menu. So, Miss Spooky Pants gave me this menu which will supposedly put more grande in my esponja. Excellent! You wanna put some of your newfound deductive reasoning to the test and help me figure out what I need for the menu? I'd give my beard to be able to help you, but I'm afraid my pirate mind is not fit for such things. It explains why after all these years you still allowed me to get within a nautical mile of you with a bottle of voodoo root beer. <laughs> True. So he doesn't know. Um... Sit tight, buddy. I'm Once struggling. Lane, you're next. This Don't whole puzzle has been me. really difficult for me. Um, I don't suppose we can use it with the light? La Sponja Grande is only good for soaking up voodoo. Like the pots. No. I'm starting to think it's got to be something to do with... Club 41. Well, I couldn't say what. Um... Got the puddle of wax. Might have to be a good old fashioned Turian Shepherd brute force puzzle, this one. Um, provocative painting? I don't see a provocative painting. Uh, I don't seem to be able to use this on the wax, so I'm maybe on the icky puddle. La Sponja Grande is only good for soaking up voodoo. This has like got to be box. something voodoo y. The wax probably isn't going to be right either. 
Maybe the painting? Ooh, maybe this Jungle Beast painting. That is not the Jungle Beast, by the way, as we've seen. Oh, I see. It's like one of the Mer people. It's the Queen of the Mer people. <laughs> That's weird. Reminds me a little bit of the um, the port master, the ship master of Melee Island in Escape from Monkey Island. With the painting in the scum bar. It's pretty funny. Uh, so we've done the challenge. Are you pirate enough to take the Fugu Jolokia challenge? I wonder if there's anything to do with this over here. This zapping thing. What is this carpet deal about? So we're like sta static charged carpet. Guess they decided to put the rug inside after it was cleaned. So what? What did that do? No! Whoa. What? Tingly. Oh hey, what's this? Ah, uh, so oh. that was the shocking dessert. Shocking dessert. Oh. Right, so... All I've got to do is find a big belchy sound and La Esponja Grande will be as good as grown. Right, a big belchy sound. All I've got to do is find a big belchy sound and La Esponja Grande will be as good as grown. So who's good at belching in this place? La Esponja Grande won't work on anyone until it's been fed its feast for the senses. So it was to do with the shocking on the way out of the Club 41. I should really have noticed that that was probably going to be relevant in some way. So who the hell... Hopefully that doesn't like lock us in here. Ouch. Right, no, see, we needed right, to click on the carpet. Esponja, not so grande. That's five senses down and one to go. Now where can I find a really big sound for an after-dinner belch? Oh! Well, there's only one thing on Flotsam Island that can make a noise like that. It's going to be the wind device, isn't it? <laughs> God, this has been an almighty struggle, this puzzle. What the hell? Like a really? man, you snuff sniffing land licker! You heard the lady de singe. Guybrush, get out of here and find your own treasure! This one's mine! If ah, you say so. Happy three -wood pirate clan. <laughs> Whatever shall I do now? Oh, I know. Oh, oh no, him. really? <laughs> How did he fall for exactly the same trap? You know, once I carry uh, the box that's making you say all these mean things, you're going to owe me a lot of smoochies. I wouldn't smooch <laughs> you with his lips, Smoochies. Captain boy. <clears throat> I hate to break up this portrait of domestic bliss, <laughs> but I've got some last what minute adjustments to make to my machinery before preparing the charming Madame Sripwood for her journey into scientific history. Don't worry, Buttercup. Huh? Once I get La Esponja Grande into that noisy doohickey, our troubles will be over. Mm, yes. Well, please try to keep it down, no? At least I hope so. Uh, can we just, like, chuck it up there? Cause that oh, look, there's the parrot. <laughs> That's what we needed to do before, wasn't it? Damn What's parrot. This? Oh, no. Hey, give that back. And risk tainting my moment of triumph with your tedious voodoo falderal. <laughs> I don't think so. Moment of triumph? <laughs> we, using my arpsychroniton, I have discovered the unique harmonic frequency that allows me to pulverize matter into a fine powder and spread it across the seas. <laughs> uh... Observe! Ah, it's me, Guybrush Threepwood. Why did I? It's me! No, the parrot! First of all, thanks. That thing was really starting to scrape my skin. <laughs> Second, you're crazy if you think you're going to get me in there. Okay, crazier. You? I don't want you. It's your wife's molecules I need to smear across this Why? Seat. I'd like to see you try, you wuss. Why her? Because of her box, you don't. 
she's got the same unique strain of epoch that you once had. The same one oh. that was flowing through your amazing hand. The same one that I distilled into my amazing jus de vie. What oh, the... yeah. Unfortunately, uh, a single hand can only provide enough of this ripwood strain to produce a few meager drums of my jus de vie. Even if I were to drain your beloved to the bone, I would only gain a few piddling firkins <laughs> of the juice. I'll give you some piddling firkins? No. Yeah, get if back I want here. a perpetual strain of the jus de vie, every pirate in the world must be exposed to the ripwood strain. Now, Madame Sweepwood, if you'll hold still for a moment, I'll try to make this as painless as possible. How do we get the sponge How back? Nice. But I won't. Oh, she got him. <laughs> the the power of the Judy V. Oh. Oh, hang on. So it's like Morgan versus. I don't think it's opening up without one of those seahorse key things. Too bad I lost mine. It's like one of those Morgan versus Guybrush that things again. He's a bucket of water. <laughs> the singe is going to use that contraption to pulverize my sweet patootie. Somehow the singe has figured out how to make the Vacalian wind device pulverize people into a fine powder. That's just plain weird. That is very dark, actually. Um, hey, it's moths. the moths. I bet they're still punch drunk off of Stan's funky fashions. Oh, can we put... Can we put the sugar into this water oh. like we did in the well? Oh, what the heck. And lure them over. Sweet. Oh, shiny. Uh, okay. That hasn't seemed to have gotten them off. Anyway. Oh, fireflies. Uh, okay. Mysterious device. Gonna use that contraption to pulverize my sweet patootie. Uh, Elaine, clamshell trap, idol. Right, let's try talking to Desange. Hey, the monkey. What? The monkey. Uh, you'll never get past Elaine's sword. You'll never get past my wife's sword, you know. I once saw her hold off a horde of angry Rotarians with nothing more than a pen knife and a feather duster. Yeah, impressive. But unless they were invulnerable Rotarians fueled by my incredible jus de vie, there's really no comparison. Soon she will tire, so. and her box will be mine to spread across the four corners of the earth. I'll no. spread you to the four corners. Oh! Oh! That like right, so that sort of jammed it up and made the moths fly away. Hey, the sing song. What? The sing song. You look busy. Why don't you let me hold the sponge? You look like you've got your hands um handful. Why don't you let me hand. hold onto that sponge <laughs> for a minute? What sort of idiot do you take me for, Scrapewood? Uh, a nice Is that one. A trick question. Uh, okay. Uh, when you're done with Elaine, can I have some jus de vie? Once you're done pulverizing my wife, any chance I could get my hands on some of that jus de vie? Arr! Nothing personal, honey. It's just that you look kind of done for, and invulnerability could come in really handy in my line of work. I'll show you who's done for! <laughs> okay. So again, that did the same sort of thing, didn't it? Um, is there anything else we can say to him? What? No, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'd hate for you to miss my heroic moment of triumph. I'm counting the moments. <laughs> uh, okay, can we talk to Elaine? Hey, Elaine. What? Uh, cut off my severed hand, knock the sponge out of my hand, hang in there. Knock While the sponge away. away to singe, do you think you could knock that sponge out of my severed hand? The only place this sword is going is through this snuff sniffer's gizzard! Rah! Oh, she's so aggressive. Uh, cut off my severed hand. My hand is the singe's only source of jus de vie. If you cut it off his turban, he'll be a lot easier to kill. What do you think I'll be trying to do, you balmy halfwit? <laughs> okay, hang in there. Hang in there, sweetie. Less talking, more eviscerating, sweetie. Right, okay, so we're gonna have to do something with this, right? I wonder why they're called fireflies anyway. It's not like they're on fire. Uh, can we do anything I don't with take it? my hook into that. I don't know where it's been. Can we try and chart up the light? Eliminated. No, the pepper. Something that tasty should be fed to something or someone that really appreciates it. Ah, can we feed it to one of these two? Hey, 
Hey, Vu! What? No. Ooh. Oh, I see. Uh, and that's going to lure the, oh, the fireflies. Right, okay. Um, can we get the sponge back now? Hey, the sing song. What? Uh, I really don't think you have a chance against <laughs> I really my wife. Don't think you have a chance against my wife. <laughs> Please, she is nothing more than a mere pirate wench. While I am an invulnerable man of science. Yeah, if you say so. Arr! Right, so that's jammed up again. Oh, the moths what? are coming down no. here now. My turban! No! Oh, they're eating the turban. So, oh, get away from me, you nasty little pest. I see, just like Stan's coat. No! What's the matter with Oh, him? he's bald. Now my hand is supplying with more jus de vie. All those wounds you've been inflicting are starting to catch up with him. <gasps> get back here, you naughty little land. <coughs> <laughs> I have you now, my pretty. <laughs> oh, that's a bit dark. Oh, that's very dark. Nice one hand. Care to help me with these locks? I was that not was expecting that. <laughs> At least I've got the sponge back, though. Wow, we just turned him into dust. Do we just try and chuck it in now again? Uh, yep, there we go. I thought it'd crash there for a second. Three points. In it goes. Well, that was a little anticlimactic. Whoa! Now Whoa! Look at it. Grande, but how the size I of it. Voodoo Daisy wasn't kidding. Look how big oh, it is. Right, the wind. Are we curing everybody? Is this going to make it worse? Seems like the type of thing Guybrush would do. Whoa. That's bright. Well, it's doing something to everybody. We'll see whether it Hold cures on. them. It worked. Guybrush? Elaine, are you alright? I... I think so. But how did I get here and why does my mouth taste like coleslaw? It's <laughs> a long story. I'll tell you all about it once we figure out how to get out of these stupid clamshells. Leave everything well, we did to it. me, my friends. Yay, LeChuck's here. Ah, oh, good old LeChuck, he had the clamshell thingy. LeChuck, my new best pal. How'd you get out of jail? Oh, the guard was more than happy to release me once I convinced him that it was the only way to win Elaine's hand in unholy matrimony. Wait, what? Unholy what? Oh, unholy no. Unholy this! Guybrush! What Elaine? the hell? Guybrush! Lechuk! What? <laughs> this name shouting is jolly good fun. Is that you, Mother? I washed my hands. Oh, my word. I knew it all along. With or without all that voodoo, you're still nothing but an evil sack of scum. Correction, my sweet. I'm an evil sack of scum who's about to plunder the grandest treasure in all creation. No. But I'd be willing to share my booty if you catch me drift. <laughs> what? Oh, come now, my love. You can't deny what we've shared these past few weeks. The chummy camaraderie, the kind words, the stolen glances. I know you've developed feelings for me. Join me as my demon bride, and together we'll lay a bloody siege to the very heart of voodoo itself! Go to Can't hell, believe it. Chuck. Well, you had everyone fooled. You can't say I didn't try. Looks like we'll be doing this with all that voodoo. Oh. Wow, we've actually been stabbed. Elaine? Uh, do me a favor. Ah, that be the stuff. Oh, he's absorbing Maybe it all back into him. Kick is, too is he going to become 
Zombie again. Monkey and all the islands in between, my love. Or ghost pirate. Aren't you dead yet? I've got <laughs> wedding <laughs> Oh yeah, he is. No. I really thought he changed. <sighs> out of respect for the newly deceased, I feel I should point out that you wave your sword like a dairy farmer. <laughs> <laughs> You fight like a pox-infected undead cow. Ooh. Wow, it's the end. To be continued in Chapter 5, Rise of the Pirate God. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's a plot twist and a half. So is Guybrush dead? I mean, it is called the Trial and Execution of Guybrush Threepwood, but it doesn't say the death. But, I mean, we looked pretty dead. We've been stabbed right through by LeChuck. I should have known that he was still a bad guy. I got lured in with the f sort of fake good LeChuck plot. Or ploy, if you will. Ah, I mean, I'm kind of glad. Because I love LeChuck as the bad guy. And I really thought they'd eliminated him from being the bad guy in this one. So I'm kind of glad that he's back to being the bad guy. But I'm annoyed that I got tricked by it. So that's going to do it for chapter 4 then. In the next one we'll start chapter 5, which is the final chapter of Tales of Monkey Island. And the final chapter in Monkey Island altogether. And we'll get to see what happens. Um, I cannot wait to find out. <laughs> I hope it's going to be really good. It's certainly got a lot darker. I see what people are saying now about the tone of this game being darker than the others. But I'm still undecided about that. I'll see how it plays out and make my mind up. On that sort of thing at the end I guess but that does it for this one guys so as always thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video click on that like button it really does help the channel to grow so I do appreciate it make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so and I'll see you all next time <laughs>